Hey, what up y'all? Nurse David here, coming at you from the den. And today, I wanna talk about what is the normal day in nursing informatics look like? And I'm gonna be talking about when I was doing nursing informatics and I covered a hospital. What did I do from eight o'clock in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon? We're gonna get into all that, but before we do so, make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really really helps me out and also I started a nursing informatics TikTok. so if you're interested and you like short videos about nursing informatics and tips go check it out it's at nursing informatics imagine that now my first position in nursing informatics was a RN clinical support analyst one and in this position I was not working remote I had a hospital which I covered and it was pretty much it. I had a few other clinics that I also covered, but I would only visit those about maybe once a month because they were pretty self-sufficient and they knew how to reach out to me. But let's start from the beginning. I would wake up, get ready, get to work by eight o'clock. And by eight o'clock, the first thing I would do is log onto my computer. I had a little workstation and check my emails, see if I'm missing anything, log on to Teams because that's the form of communication me and my team had. Um, log on to Teams, just said good morning to everybody, see if there was anything going on that needed to be immediately addressed. And 75% of the time, this is pretty much how my mornings went. Now, we would have morning huddles with my team. So like I said, I was covering a certain facility, a hospital, and I had a few other clinics. But I was alone at this hospital. The rest of my team, they were in Phoenix at a different hospital. And there were quite a few of them because that was our larger facility where this was just a smaller one. So I would meet with them on Teams and at 8.15, we would have a morning huddle where our manager, director, whatever you want to call him, would just kind of give us updates. We kind of review what we had going on that day. If we had any questions, we would kind of brainstorm together. So where I was working alone and completely on my own pretty much, I was never really alone because in informatics, we're all online all the time. And I had the apps on my phone too. So if I was out and about, and I didn't have my computer with me, I could always reach out to them like that, but in this field, you're never truly alone. Now, let's say after that meeting, I didn't really have anything else going on, and I was caught up on my emails, and I was caught up on Teams with all the messages, then I would just take it upon myself to go rounding in the clinic and just check in with my providers, check in with my nurses and see what's going on. It would be at this time that I would inform them of any major changes coming to the way that they document if I had any changes. So if I did, I'd be meeting with their managers, be letting them know, be meeting with the providers, hey, here's a heads up, this is gonna be changing and it might be a big change or it might be a small change, but regardless, I try to tell as many people as I could. But if I didn't have anything to report like that, I'd just round and just kind of see, is everything working properly? Is everything working as it should? And rounding is a good way of finding work when I didn't have anything to do, such as, hey, this isn't saving when I push save in this uh, program. And we mainly supported one program, and that was the EHR, Electronic Health Record, and we used Cerner. So I would go through with my troubleshooting steps. I'd bring my laptop with me everywhere I went. That way I could just keep looking up resources because I had more tools on my own laptop than they had on theirs. And if I was able to fix it, great. If I wasn't, I could phone a friend. And if I wasn't having any luck there, then I could go ahead and escalate it up the chain where it could be further looked into. I had to create a ticket and that was pretty much it. Now, the ticketing system. So people would call in because we had a help desk line and sometimes their troubles could be fixed remotely, but then sometimes they would need me to come assess in person and just do some more troubleshooting at the, not at the bedside, but at the shoulder side, I'll call it. <laughs> so one way they would get a hold of me is they would write up a ticket when the customer calls, this, being, this customer being the nurse or the provider, write up a ticket and then they would assign it to me. So that would also be something I check in the morning is, do I have any tickets that I need to work on? Do I have any outstanding tickets? 
that need to be addressed because depending on the type of ticket and the severity of it, there would come time constraints with that. So if something was really impacting the patient, um, we could have possibly 24 hours to address it and get it fixed. Or if it was sort of addressing the patients but there was work around, it would lead to 48 hours and then there was another one that was 72 hours. So the tickets played a large role and my facility, luckily though, they just knew me as a contact, so they just reached out to me directly. So it kind of relieved those time constraints, but it still was priority for me to get over there and get it addressed. By the time I was done rounding, it would maybe be like 11 o'clock, I would head back to my desk area, finish any unworked work that needed to be completed, such as items I needed to look into, or catching back up with my email, catching back up with the team, but then I would head over to lunch, and this was the nice thing, is that my lunches were prioritized. I prioritized my lunches. I needed to eat, I didn't have any patience, nothing was truly that severe that I needed to step away from my lunch. So I'd go take my lunch however long I wanted to take it. And once I was done, I'd probably get back to my desk around one o'clock. The thing about nursing informatics though is that your schedule is subject to change, just like being a nurse where you might have a plan going forth for the day. It can quickly change depending on what's broken, what's needing to be addressed, are there meetings? So occasionally I would have meetings and I did lead a few where we were working on changes within the electronic health record and although my analyst position was not the position to be making these changes, I'd help prep our customers on how they could go about submitting their enhancement requests. Enhancement requests are changes being made to the software that, are, that is really going to change the workflow and how they use the program. Uh, Tickets, on the other hand, like I mentioned earlier, those were placed for items that were pre-existing and were broken. So these are two different things. The time frame for both of these really varies. Enhancement requests can honestly take months depending on how large the request is. The Starting from the beginning of building up the SBAR and submitting it to the informatics team to the time of approval and build and testing, it could honestly take months. And if this change were to impact multiple departments, people, then training would need to be considered as well. Transitioning from the bedside to nursing informatics was definitely an experience, but I will say that working at the bedside and in the field with Cerner, that program, and knowing how it's actually used, helped me a lot with my understanding of how I can help our customers get items fixed or how I can help our customers document the items that they're needing to document correctly. You definitely do want some bedside experience. You're not wanting to jump into nursing informatics too quickly because I feel like now that I've gotten into it, I'm a little skeptical about ever going back to the bedside. This has been good and it is rewarding, but most importantly, it's been good for me being able to take care of myself. It's a lot more flexible and yes, I am working five days a week and it does seem like I, ha I get busy, but I do have downtime and when I need a minute, I can take a minute. That's pretty much my day to day on what in what I did in nursing informatics. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye.